guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So I'm back with another healthy dessert recipe and this time it's from my cookbook, The Nourishing Five, which if you don't know, this is my first ever cookbook and all the recipes in here, which there are over a hundred, are all healthy, easy, delicious and five ingredients or less. So it is super fun to make all the recipes in this book. I had a blast making it and I really hope that you love it as well. So one of my favorite recipes from this book that we are making today is the chocolate fudge cake with chocolate ganache and it is insanely delicious, fudgy and you wouldn't guess that it's vegan and sugar free. It is so, so, so fudge delicious. So every time it's one of my friend's birthdays, I automatically get voted the person to make everyone's cake, which is cool, which is cool because I love it <laughs> and it's like my favorite thing to do. So I actually do have a friend's birthday tomorrow that I am making this cake for so I thought it would be a good opportunity to share this recipe with you guys because I think you will really really love this one because like I said it has only five ingredients. So if you're as excited for this recipe as I am make sure you hit that thumbs up button below that really helps support me and this channel and also subscribe because I put out new healthy recipes and healthy content every single week to help you live your best life. So without further ado let's get into this recipe. So the ingredients that we need for this recipe, and yes, I still don't know my own recipes off by heart, guys, there are like over a hundred. I think people expect me to know them all, like, and memorize them all, but I just don't because there are so many recipes, even though I've made this one so many times. So I'm gonna have my book here so I can tell you guys exactly what we need. So the first thing we will need is three quarters of a cup of good quality dark chocolate. Now this is a sugar-free brand that I'm using. Let me get the packet. So it's this brand that I use and it is delicious. You wouldn't know that there's no sugar in it. And the first step we do for this is melt it. So I melt it gently in the microwave for 30 second blast on a low heat. Then we will need two and a half cups of coconut milk and make sure you use really good quality coconut milk where the only two ingredients are coconut extract and water. So this has 70% of organic coconut extract, so there's a really high percentage of coconut. So I know that this is the best quality. A lot of coconut milk brands can have like preservatives or like additives and thickeners, things like that. So it's not pure coconut. You want to get one that's pure coconut. Some vanilla extract. So those are the three wet ingredients that we need. And then we need two and a half cups of self-raising flour. You can also use some spelt flour as well. That's a really nice and nutty taste too. But I, today I'm just using plain self-raising flour. Two teaspoons of baking powder to help everything rise and make it nice and fluffy. A little pinch of salt, of course, to bring it all out. These two ingredients are totally optional as the flour already has raising agents in it, but just gonna add them in to make it even better. And then two tablespoons of cocoa powder or raw cacao powder. I'm using raw cacao powder today because that's what I have on hand. And it is super good for you, really high in antioxidants and magnesium as well. So this is a great secretly healthy chocolate cake recipe. So let's get into the recipe. So I have melted my dark chocolate here on a gentle low heat and now I'm going to add in the two other wet ingredients which is the vanilla extract and this whole can of coconut milk. So I'm just going to pour the coconut milk in here, well, more like scoop it out. That's how you know that you have a really high quality coconut milk because you have to scoop it out, like it's that much of a coconut percentage. So I'm just going to pour that whole thing in there delicious coconut flavor. Literally makes every cake better. The one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then just give that a really nice stir until it's all combined and smooth. So if you have watched my videos before, you might have noticed that my setup is a little bit different because I now have my beautiful custom Notion 5 neon here that I ordered for my launch event and now I've decided to utilize it as a bit of like a studio backdrop so I love it. I will show you it on soon so stay tuned for that. It's just the little things <laughs> that make me excited. So that's all nice and combined now and it already smells incredible. Mm. So I am now going to add in my dry ingredients. So that is 
the self raising flour in here, the two tablespoons of raw cacao. We are also using a cup of sweetener. Now you can use coconut sugar if you prefer just like a natural sweetener or you can use like a stevia baking blend. I'm using a brown sugar stevia baking blend here to keep it nice and sugar free. As I said, you can use whatever sweetener that you like. But I really like the flavor of brown sugar or brown sugar sweetener because it gives it a really nice like caramelly undertone. Two teaspoons of the baking powder which will all help it rise, a little pinch of salt because I think that helps to emphasize the chocolatey flavor. So you want to stir it until it's just combined. It's okay if there are like a few little uneven lumps. We don't want to over stir it because that can make the cake tough and we want it to be soft and fluffy and moist. <laughs> Sorry to use that word, but it is the most accurate word to describe this cake. So after a while, our butter is like that, nice and smooth. So I'm going to pour it into a lined cake pan and bake it for about 50 minutes until a skewer inserted comes out clean and the top is nice and good through. So make sure that your oven is also preheated to 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm pouring our butter into our cake pans nice and evenly, making sure to scoop up every last bit of the goodness because we do not want to waste that butter. So there, I've smoothed that evenly and I will see you in 50 minutes. So while we wait for our cake in the oven to finish baking, we are going to make a start on the chocolate ganache or frosting, whatever you call it. So this cake recipe actually comes with a ganache recipe, which is only two ingredients. It's just dark chocolate and coconut milk. But my friend has actually requested chocolate and peanut butter. And as you know, uh, this is just a classic chocolate cake. So we are going to put peanut butter in the frosting and make a chocolate peanut butter buttercream frosting that's also vegan still so don't worry and it's still going to be really decadent and delicious so the first thing that we're going to put into our food processor is one cup of vegan butter and i am using this Nautilex buttery brand it's really good it tastes like real butter make sure your butter spread is also room temperature then we need three and a half cups of icing sugar if you want to use a sugar-free substitute just make sure you powder it in a blender first so it is like that icing sugar consistency oops it's like going everywhere it's honestly like impossible to be clean when you're cooking like stuff is going to end up everywhere on the table on the floor that is like half the fun. Half a cup of raw cacao powder or cocoa powder for that nice chocolatey flavor. And a third of a cup of smooth creamy peanut butter where the only ingredient is peanuts and salt. I don't know about you, but peanut butter is like one of my favorite foods. And we are just simply gonna blend that until it's nice and smooth. And feel free to add some almond milk or like a little bit of water, a tablespoon at a time, if you find that the frosting is the desired consistency. So our frosting is all done now and it's a really nice and smooth consistency. So it is time to frost and decorate our birthday cake. I'm gonna start with the bottom layer. And then put the second layer on top once you've frosted the first. So it wouldn't be a birthday cake without sprinkles. So to make it even more aesthetic, I'm going to pipe some little patterns on top of the cake as well. And to do this, I've got a piping bag. And I'm just going to use a cup to assist me into pouring the icing into the piping bag. So here you have my chocolate fudge cake from my cookbook, Nourish in 5, and I really hope that you try this recipe at home and that you enjoyed this video. If you do try it, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and also tag me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle up here so that you can tag me and I can see your work because that is one of my favorite things to do is to see all your amazing creations. This recipe is so good for like any kind of gathering or birthday or celebration. And not only is it easy, it's also super delicious and fudgy and guaranteed your friends and family are not going to know that it's 
vegan and sugar free. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe below because I'd love to see you again and see you make healthy, delicious recipes with me. And until next time, I'll see you soon.